Hello, welcome back everybody, Tommy Kendu here. Um, we're going to be doing another Champion Quest video today by request. We're going to be doing Chaos Difficulty with Houndmaster. Um, and for this one, um, if you have a Earthstone, go ahead and break it out. Um, I have one in there, um, but yeah, you can do this with your... Um, Chaos set, just take out your poison stone and add a damage stone. But the earth stone will work also. So let's go. It was specifically requested that I choose Houndmaster. So here we go. Thanks again, everybody, for liking and subscribing to my content. It's greatly appreciated, and I uh, hope you all are enjoying the content. But what uh, I like to do when I first get in here is get a couple levels, make your life a little easier. Try to get to about level six before I get started. Oh, and I've been hit, man down. So once you get started with Houndmaster, one cr crucial thing to do is uh, the healing orb. Look out for that thing, stay on the lookout. Um, but after that, you just dodge in the red dots, pretty much. And, um, whoop, whoop. let's, uh, see what we have, um, alright, 160 stacks, pretty decent for Houndmaster. Uh, stacks of the, the bleed, oh, there we go, some more hemophilia. All right. Um, and uh, you will need some levels, but you'll generally get them at this point in the game, so. All right, once you uh, dance around a little, another hemophilia, yeah, woo -woo. Once you dance around, oh, okay, there's a healing orb or something. He's back to full health. Uh, no good. There it is. Kill the healing orb. Master the Disaster. Alright. 220 stacks of it. Yeah, as long as you can manage to keep dodging, keep your stacks on. Don't try not to go too far away with Houndmaster to get your dogs off onto another target. That can slow you down a good deal. Um, but yeah. And I don't know if you, you're noticing, uh, I, I, you, you don't have to do this in a clockwise motion, it's just the most efficient motion that I've found. See there, all those stacks fell off of that guy. But yeah, right now I'm looking at plenty of time, uh, as long as I focus to make sure those healing orbs are gone, um, I should be okay. And yeah, that's that's the reason for the XP stones in here. Without these levels, um, it can be difficult. So make sure you got plenty of more XP. Um, the experience is crucial. And <clears throat> as you can see, um, unless you get a lot of range, it can be hard to see where the healing orb is unless you're right on top of the boss. So <clears throat> make sure you're watching for that. There's the healing orb there. I don't know if you caught me catching it there. And voila, there you have it. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Tommy Can Do out.